Hey YouTube, this is Game Boy making my first uh, Bakugan review, and it's gonna be on Alpha Hydra mode. I just got him yesterday, and he's in perfect condition, and I really like him. He's cool. Uh, there he is. I'll open him up and explain the ball for him later on in the video. So, hold on. There he is. Alpha Hydronoid! Okay. Uh, the reason I like him the most is because he is a Hydronoid, and Hydronoids are awesome. You could see his, uh, his green eyes there uh his like mintish green eyes are so cool and he has the red mouth and i could take out the horn big chubby red horn right there it's like a fat red horn i like it and then he has these okay if you saw my hades ransom video uh these things are supposed to be the mouths and these are supposed to be the heads see one two three heads with these little things that they, I guess they're mouths and then he has the red hands right there and the silver band around it okay one thing I wanted to point out uh, some people might not know this but a lot do that this thing right here it's supposed to be something in the show where it's it's like it's like on his chest to bottom to his stomach, and it rotates downwards and sucks the Bakugan into it. So it's kind of a cool detail they put into it, and the silver band is part of it too. Okay, and uh, yeah, let me show you something. His he has like a little head crest where you put the head in. It's supposed to fit the head inside. And they put the G's on it. That's kind of cool. He is 670 G's. Okay. And... And yes, he does turn into Hades. Oh. And also he has this cool checkered pattern on his back. All of this. And he's really good in battle too. Really good. Especially when you have the uh, darkest reactor. Okay. And his magnets, like, I have a lot of friends where his magnets are, like, kind of weak. You have to, like, you have to do this with them. Like, you have to spin it for it to get on there. Or you have to just do that, like, push it on there. But he's still pretty cool. There's his uh, darkest sign. And. Oh, yeah. He has these little. He's like half circled. Big feet. Right there, that's him in full form. Let's see about his horn. That's him. He's. He's a really good Bakugan, I guess. Except. The thing that kind of blew it off is that, that, if these were heads, it would have made this Bakugan much, much cooler. As It's already cool, but if they put it, it would have made it much cooler. And guys, watch. Uh, uh, okay, that's all I have to it. I'm going to close it now. But it's really cool. I really like it. And its mouth does not open and close. Okay. Close first to close the feet to close it. Well, you can close the feet anytime you want, and the horn you can close it anytime you want. And then, and then you uh, put the head in. Put the two other heads inside it. With it, hold all three of them together with like your middle finger and your index finger, and then do this. Just push these two arms in together like that. Okay guys, if you if you shake it and then it makes a little clicking noise, don't think that the don't think that the mechanism is broken. It's just these mouths right here. The mouths on the two other heads, they move up and down when you're when you shake it. 
So if it makes a little uh, clicking noise when you shake it, when it's closed, don't think the mechanism is broken. It's just the two heads shaking. Okay. And now, there. If you want to see, uh, I don't think you can get him in a booster pack or a three pack, but if you are looking for him, he's usually just one, but if you are looking for him, you're looking for this from the back. Okay. Side is obviously, you'll see the foot and the checkered pattern and the silver band. And the front is pretty obvious. Darkest, first of all. Horn, silver band, checkered pattern. A lot of things give it away. Even if it was like this, you could still see it because it has a checkered pattern. And overall, he's a really good Bakugan. I like the details on him. Outstanding things about him detail. They put a lot of detail into him. Especially the markings and the colors. I like how they put an extra color, red, just uh, instead of just the normal hydronoid. And uh, I like him because they just worked real hard on him, except for the paint and these two heads. The paint is pretty good, but these two heads kind of blew it off, but that's fine. Okay, thanks for watching YouTube. My next review will be on uh, Neo Dragonoid, so I'll be looking for that. And if you guys want me to do a review on uh, Boost Ingram, put it on my comments, because I'm not sure if to do it or not. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.